comes to mind when you hear the word peaceful? Maybe it's stillness or quietness. Maybe the lack of conflict or lack of war. Um, my guess is that, that uh, you know, those are the types of things that come to mind when you hear this word peaceful. Um, and yet all it takes is a, a quick glance at the newspaper or a moment to watch the evening news and, and you see that our world is anything less than peaceful most of the time whether it's wars or conflicts or rumors of war and conflict, or maybe it's protest on Wall Street, or, or even in your own life and your own relationships of the, the lack of um, harmony between you and your spouse or you and, and those that you know. Uh, and even in this season of Advent, uh, the lack of peace and the hustle and bustle and the rush to get everything done that needs to get done. <clears throat> And yet one of the things uh, that this season reminds us of is this promise of peacefulness. Uh, in Isaiah chapter 11, there's this beautiful uh, passage uh, foretelling Jesus' coming into the world, the, the shoot from the stump of Jesse. Uh, and one of my favorite parts of the passage is in verse 6 where it says, The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra, and the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. They will neither <clears throat> harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the water covers the sea. This beautiful picture uh, of what Advent means, uh, that in this season uh, we not only look back uh, to the fact that Jesus came into this world, was born as an infant, uh, but we also look forward to the fact that Jesus is coming back uh, to con consummate everything that he started in his first coming to the earth. And this idea of peace um, that so oftentimes we reduce to the idea of a lack of conflict, or maybe stillness or quietness, that we have this beautiful picture here in Isaiah uh, of the peace that Jesus can only bring and the peace that he will bring someday when he returns again. Uh, the Hebrew word shalom, the word for peace, uh, hints at this idea of fullness or completeness or wholeness. And I think what this passage promises us and uh, tries to help us expect and long for is this time where Jesus returns where he will restore everything to the way it was meant to be. Uh, that it's not just a lack of conflict or a lack of war or a lack of violence, but that everything that was lost at the fall, everything that was broken when sin entered into the picture, Jesus is going to reconcile and make right. And so we have this beautiful picture here of the lion laying down with the lamb, uh, of, of things being restored uh, completely, hinting back at the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> and so that's my prayer for you this Advent, that in the busyness of the season, and as you prepare uh, for time with family and friends, uh, that during the season you take some time to reflect on not just Jesus coming into our world, uh, but the fact that he's coming back. And as he comes back, he will allow us to experience true peace, true peacefulness, true restoration and completeness and wholeness that only comes through Him. God bless.